Hi everyone, welcome to chendu.org. I would like to share a short video lesson with you on how I analyze Excel school registration data using pivot tables and charts. I promise you this is not going to be a sales pitch about Excel school. Of course, I would definitely ask you to sign up if you would like to ex learn Excel. But that's not this what this video is about. This video is about how you can analyze a particular uh, type of sales data, sales data where you have uh, multiple product launches over a period of time and you would like to see how the product launches are doing with respect to one another. So as you know I have launched Excel School twice earlier and this was my third launch. So each time I had uh, kept the registration window open for uh, roughly 10 days to 2 weeks. Actually it was 10 days both times. This time around I am keeping it open for 2 weeks. So I, I wanted to find out how well the registrations are going in this edition of Excel School with respect to the earlier two editions. Now uh, it might be an easier thing to uh, manually verify the numbers uh, like how many registrations were there on each day of the launch, each day of the registration window. But that was not something that uh, an Excel enthusiast like me would enjoy. I would like to see it in a much more automated way. So that's when I took all the data. This was the data. This is the sales data uh, from 1st of January uh, all the way up to uh, 21st of September. That was yesterday. Yeah. Uh, and this is the sales data for all the product sales that I make. So you can see all sorts of number uh, names here like project management templates and Excel school and somewhere here the formula ebook and wedding planner. Everything was here. So about uh, 1200 rows of information is there and my questions were primarily around the areas of uh, I will show you the final chart so you know what kind of things that I'm looking at uh, when I wanted to get the answers. The first thing is I wanted to draw a chart like this so I can understand the slope and the velocity of the registrations. So this is the cumulative student registrations by day. I have prepared these charts in another workbook uh, and I just pasted the pictures here so that I can understand. Uh, I can show you the end result before we go to the pivot table analysis. So I wanted to understand uh, how the student registrations go as the registration uh, days since launch. So on the first day how many students sign up and the second day, third day, so on and so forth and eventually on the 11th day and this is the cumulative number. So as you can see the first batch had around 145 students. Not all sales are captured in the data because uh, some students pay me through bank transfers and uh, Indian students pay me through bank transfers and some students pay me through different payment mechanism other than PayPal. So that data is not available with me in any meaningful format. So I just choose to analyze the data that I have. So around 147 students out of which uh, 135 were captured here and in the second batch we had 200 out of which around 165 or 160 are captured. So you can see the two curves going like this from day 1 to day 10 and 11. In case of first batch I kept the registration window open for 11 days and the second batch I had it for 10 days and now third batch curve is uh, pretty much in the same line where the first two batches are. But the slope was going, uh, it, it, the cumulative registrations were not growing as fast as let's say the second batch or third batch. That is because uh, third batch uh, has still one more week to go. The registrations, are, the registrations will close on September 29th. So students are not in a hurry mode to book their spot and that's predictable, right? Then the second question that I had in mind was uh, how many people join uh, during a typical registration window of 10 or 11 days? How many join in the first half and how many join in the second half? And I had a hypothesis that uh, more students join in the second half because there is a sense of urgency and the fact that the registrations will close shortly. People uh, get hurried up and they, they get into the sale because they know that the window is closing. So their data proves this. For example, in the first batch, I had 36% of students sign up in the first half, whereas 64 in the second half. And so this is the kind of analysis that I wanted to do so that I can understand how the sales go, sales are going. And 
let us come back to the data and uh, the pivot sheet is empty so we are going to make a pivot table uh, out of this data using the pivot table we will eventually make the charts so the first thing that uh, we should uh, we should ask ourselves is for a, for each sale i would like to identify the launch period to which it belongs to so there are three launch periods each of them starting uh, with these dates so i'm going to write the dates here 0208-2010 so that was the february 8th 2010 that is when i opened the excel school first batch registrations then 06-13-2010 so that's uh, 13th of june and then 9-13-2010 so that's 13th of september because the payment dates are captured in mst and i open excel school in Indian Standard Time or Japan Time or whatever is the earliest. So the actual dates are 14th here, but uh, since they become 13 on MST, I enter these dates here. So these are the registration windows, uh, the, the date on which I opened the registrations. Now I'm just going to select this and move it a bit further here. I know what, you know what is coming next, right? You can move, select a bunch of cells and move it anywhere. <laughs> by using the thick black color handle and click hold and drag it okay that's so then uh, I have addition on just uh, some value where here in the addition I would like to know based on this date what is the uh, date to which what is the number to which this belongs to uh, it's just uh, match this date that's my daughter in the background she is trying to sleep and she usually cries when she tries to sleep okay then i select this array and then the match is less than okay so then we get uh, all ones and there are a bunch of n's twos and threes okay for the time being do not worry about other aspects because i'm going to use pivot table filters to get rid of all those other products what i'm going to do is i will wrap this with if error so i don't want to see the and if if it is not found then the value would be zero then days since launch so if this is greater than zero that means it's it's an active registration window then uh, I want to know the difference between this minus index of I'm not going to explain these formulas because with a bit of figuring out you can find those formulas and since I don't want to take this video forever uh, I'm just going to okay sorry in the to should have been this list f3 f4 sorry Asian. i would like to actually make this as in so that uh, if there are any fraction of times they will be taken out so this is day zero day one day two day four like that um, and okay if it is false then it will be minus one okay that's fine now we created a basic um, formulas to calculate which edition of excel school the uh, date belongs to the purchase date and how many days since the opening the customer brought it okay now i'm going to select any point in the table and insert a pivot table I will select an existing worksheet pivot in A1 and that's it okay so now we have a pivot table uh, for those of you who are not familiar with this UI I am using Excel 2010 it's fairly similar to Excel 2007 only thing is uh, it's a bit nicer and formatting of pivot tables is easier so the first thing is I'm going to add item name here to the report filter and tell excel to remove all the items other than excel school okay so i just want the items pertaining to excel school and then uh, i want the days since launch in the columns 
and addition of excel school in the rows and then quantity here okay here we go and then i go to the design options and turn off grand totals because they are not required and this 16 was an exception right in the excel school batch one i had promised a student that i would let him in after his uh, he gets the money so he ended up signing up on the 16th day when the registration is closed so we don't really need uh, that uh, out here to be I'm sorry you cannot see this filter criteria but I'm just going to get rid of 16 okay so this is the data and what I'm going to do is select anything go to options and in Excel 2010 you can tell how the value field should be shown directly from the ribbon it's one of the nicer things so I will select the running total for the base field now I get the running totals okay so I select this data this entire thing control C and I paste them as values here alt E S V so now I get the values and this since launch batch one and seems like my daughter is having a lot of fun uh, I'm going to join her in a minute okay I select this whole thing and then I insert a line chart and mysteriously access chooses to plot this day since also so we remove that and you can see the slopes of various lines how they are going through this is as not as nice as this one but obviously I have to format it a bit but the basic chart is ready and now I can clearly see that for example this guy here uh, okay this slope in batch 2 was due to the uh, email message and batch blog post that I made telling people that Excel school is closing last day sign up and the same thing happened in batch 1 2 right here this steep uh, curve during the last one week people rushed uh, last few days people rushed in to sign up but this is plateau here because uh, the cumulative totals are 76 all the way remember it was only eight days since i have opened excel school batch three so there was no numbers for nine and ten and pivot table the cumulative totals remained slant but there was a period of lull here that was the first weekend after the excel school opened i opened it on tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday and sunday and monday a bit of even if it is monday in one country it's it's sunday in another so there is a bit of lull in excel school 3 batch and that's that's what this is i'm just going to get rid of these screen drawings and and here we are so that's the first thing the second thing is uh, calculating the number of students who join on each of the registration windows and that's fairly easy i come back to the pivot table i select this as no calculation so we get the numbers back and then I select them control C paste them here alt ESV so the numbers come here these are actual number of students who signed up on each day of the Excel school uh, registration window and then all I had to do was uh, write some formulas to find out the sum of first half and second half and that was easy right so I'm not going to tell you how it happens and I just wanted to see it for the first two batches so I just sum up these two numbers for example here we see that it was 48 people in the first five days and the last half of six days had 95 people whereas here it was now 56 people compare that to 106 people in the last five days of Excel school batch two registrations so that's how I go about analyzing the sales data to understand uh, when students rush up so if I know that better then I can uh, I don't really have to worry about marketing it too much I know that sales will come through as long as I keep my promotions and other things intact and that reminds me uh, that it's almost time to tell you that Excel school three registrations are open and they have been going pretty good as you can see from the numbers here about 76 students have already signed up as of yesterday and uh, I have added another 10 15 more in the last night so that's quite good numbers and many of them are already asking questions and learning from each other and as well as enjoying the videos if you would like to learn excel and become awesome 
there is no better way than joining excel school i would love to see you in excel school that's all go have a great day i'll see you again bye bye